and welcome back to Crits and Coffee. I'm Barely Caffeinated, the host and Dungeon Master for tonight's session. Um, if you want to know what happened last session, then go watch it, because uh, we're going to jump right in. Uh, if you want to know my players, then hopefully you can read, because their names are on their plates. So uh, we're jumping right back into our combat here, because uh, we're on limited time. So I hope you understand, and I appreciate you being flexible. Uh, bring my players back over here. Let's get some nice combat music going. Here we go. Uh, so last time you guys played, we had a uh, torrent of bones. Where, wow, that's loud. Uh, we're spinning around, and now standing in front of you is a uh, what looks like an amalgamation of many of the different skeletons together, uh, forming into a bone golem. Uh, and we'll stop. Start at the top of the order. Mal. Um, great, cool. I love the look of that thing. I'm going to punch it. Great. Um, oh, great start to the session. That is a natural 20. Good. And he's not too big. He's perfect. Ooh, um... Great. So that's I rolled maximum damage on both my key fours. So that's eight plus five is thirteen bludgeoning damage. All right. And I'm going to use a key point to take a flurry of blows. Two more attack. Um, a dirty twenty and a fifteen. Um, both of those will hit. Um, that's another 16 damage. And that is everything I can do and just kind of am hoping that I don't get hit. <laughs> Right. Uh, we have this red brand in the doorway. Gonna take two little stabby stabs at, at Shadow. That's the wrong dice. Let's try again. Twelve and hmm. which I'm neither hit. Miss. Shadow, it's your turn. All right. Um, so as he goes to like punch at me. I'm, like, blocking one, two, uh, with his stuff. Uh, and, like, and then I immediately, like, slam down on him. Just, boom! With my arms. Uh, Alright, that's not gonna do shit. Um, does a 14 hit. 14 does hit. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <clears throat> actually, let me... Uh, that is 12 bludgeoning damage. It's like <clears throat> crushed down on him, on his shoulders. Okay, and as you crush down on his shoulders, this red brain collapses to the floor and is... But I'm right dead. Oh, yeah. In a hot second. There we go. Right, anything else for Shadow? Um I am going to bonus action, I'm gonna step it. And then that'll be it. Good bonus action, what? Second wind. Yeah. And then I'm done. Just, just a little bit more. Um alright, so this bone bone golem in front of you. Uh, having many different arms and um, heads and things like that is going to take a swing uh, and this swing will target Mal and Fenya at the same what time. What the heck? I didn't That's do anything. Rare. Can I target two things with my uh, swing? For Mal, <laughs> it is a dirty 20. Okay, yep, that'll hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. And 
Fania a 16. Um, that will do three damage to each of you. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm dead. That's well. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hit for as much as I was expecting. All right. Um, and that's all it is going to do, Amaris. I thought you guys clench in for <laughs> You guys were bracing for that hit. I am gonna fireball. I'm not able to hit that other red brand, right? Okay. I mean, yeah. You could try, but it would be like three quarters done. I'm good. Last time I kept it in. I will cast firebolts. What is the Oh, uh, 16. 16 will hit. That is seven. Seven points of damage uh, as more of this bone golem begins to chip away. Uh, many of its extra parts swelling off. Anything else for Amaris? That is it. All right. Up next, from the shadows, uh, this Elvis figure, again? which you haven't quite seen yet. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> um, this orc is going oh. to grapple. Red oh. brand from the other side oh, of the jail you. cell. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I saw, I've seen like the bare sliver of him this combat now, and I was wondering what the fuck was happening. Um, and this red brand is going to try to get out of this grapple. Hanging in the dark. Unsuccessfully. As he kind of struggles. Hey, get off of me. Oh, uh, this is almost casual. Yeah. <laughs> right, what are you doing? Not the time. <laughs> Play grab ass later. Get out of here. We got guys Don't. killing us. What you doing? It's not break time yet. <laughs> oh lord. I gotta stay quiet for the boy. I can't. I can't get too, <laughs> too wild. Was that in character? Was that? It's it's the DM again. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Fania? As I get smacked by a uh, uh, giant skeleton thing, she kind of dirties herself from the impact, and then the vines that are wrapped around her uh, staff begin to sprout thorns, uh, uh, piercing her hands as dark, black, thick blood comes out of them. I'm casting Shillelagh as my bonus action. Uh, which allows me to use my wisdom on a fire instead of my strength on attacks and makes my uh, weapon magical. And I'm going to swing that thing at the uh, skeleton guy for a 22 to hit. That'll hit. And that will do a big seven points of bludgeon. How do you end this bone golem? Yeah, this is the blood begin to pour out of her hands onto the the vines on her staff she just swings it uh, with all of her might uh, and uh, shatter shattered pieces of bones go scattering against the walls and then regathers herself ready for more fighting all right top of the round mal um so, I can see the other red brand. Is that enough to have, um, like, to take an attack on him, even if he has cover? Um, yeah, I would say he is at least at half cover from where you can see him. Yeah, um, that's fine. So that's what, plus five? 
Uh, half covers half, two. Half is two. Three quarters. Three quarters is half. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I think for the first time of any D and D character ever, um, I'm gonna reach into my belt and throw a dart <laughs> at this red brand. <laughs> okay. Um, that's probably gonna miss with his cover. Um, that's a 16. That hits. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, that's going to be seven piercing damage to him. It's just like threading it uh, past shadow through this narrow gap in the doorway. I I look at Fania and Amars and go, I've never thrown that at a person before. We've only ever practiced with them. I didn't I didn't know they actually hurt people. You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Shadow. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, just come around the corner uh, real quick. Um, I'm gonna come in a little bit more just in case I need to get someone some room. I'm gonna sweep in, you know, stomping over the guy's body and then, like, turning and, like, going for, like, a reversed, like, swing around to hopefully then smash their head into the wall. Uh, that is a net one. Um, mm. So that's a fail. Probably ducks and I, because he's struggling with the orc, and I just smash into the wall instead. <laughs> yeah. Anything else for Shadow? That's all I got. All right. Maris. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be that close to him. <laughs> then don't. <laughs> uh, no, I feel like that's still three quarter. There's that guy who's grappling. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll I'll fire from here. Firebolt. I rolled a 12. <laughs> 12 hits. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. No, because he has cover. 12 does not hit. My bad. Get me out of here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is it. All right. Um, this orc from behind the bars uh, begins to strangle this oh. red brain. Uh, and is going to roll to punch and. Boy, not yet! <laughs> uh, he is going to try to contest the grapple away from the orc. Which is probably going to fail. Does fail. Fania! Fania is going to gallop on in. Deer gallop. And swing on the red brand. I missed my dice tray. Very similar rolls. Uh, 25. 25 will hit. Uh, thir- er, 11 points of damage. How do you end this red brand? Just gallop on in and uppercut swing, hit him under the chin, so he collapses in the orc's arms. Um, and at this point, I'm going to take us out of As um, Shadow and Fania, you guys can clearly see there's this orcish woman standing uh, to the north cellar of you guys. Oh, this is as the thorns retract out of her hands, Shalele disappears. Um, Shadow, do you think that's the uh, the orc that they were looking for? Boy, are you the the are you the uh, the orc, the orc daughter? Um, yes, my name is Orgara, princess of 
the Many Arrows tribe. Well, I think we found ourselves a match then. Let's see now. Uh, I'm gonna go look to see if any of them have like keys on them or something. I'm gonna okay. back out so in case of Mars or uh, 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 um, the guy I'm friends with. <laughs> Now? <laughs> now? Because oh, well, we're not that good of friends. <laughs> it's been weeks, man. <laughs> I made new friends. <laughs> Babies. Yeah, um, yeah so Shadow, while you are looking for a key, you end up coming across 15 silver, and you find a jail key in the guard's pockets. Uh -huh. I'll 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 come into the room. Um, since these skeletons attacked us, I'm now looking through all of the uh, sarcophagi for anything we can take. I wasn't gonna loot them until they came and attacked us. <laughs> How uh, high did I go for a Mars's voice? <laughs> yeah. Depends on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, girly. Um, so, <laughs> oh, yeah, Maris, why are you speaking so low? <laughs> You're a baritone now. Uh, I got hit a couple times. Um, fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, well, you, as you, when you, I'll let you sort out your whole vocal situation. Uh, let's see, let's get this out here. Uh, your family's making a whole big deal out of all of this. So let's get you back to them. Uh, and then I'll go try and unlock the cell. Okay. Uh, you unlock the cell, and Mal, uh, heading back to you for a second, you find um, what seems to be a female skeleton. Um, a higher nobility. Uh, you can tell that there are some pretty high quality linens in there, uh, as well as a gold bracelet. Uh, and you'll have to find out how much that's worth. She's, she's wearing a gold bracelet. Cool. Scoop that up. Uh, so, Shadow, you unlock the door. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> my my tribe, they came for me. Yeah, well, they're making a huge fuss about it with town, thinking the mayor took them, took ya. They plan on invading, I guess, or something like that uh, tomorrow or something, so I suppose best to get you out there quick. Well, I... I think I'm strong enough to lead myself out. You, you all should end that moron with the glass staff. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sure it'd be fun to do so, but uh, and I'm looking back at like how beaten, <laughs> so, like or how exhausted everyone is already. Uh, we'll we'll see about that. I really don't remember what pitch I was at. Um, Just pick one. <laughs> um, I think it was overhand. If, if you don't mind me asking, how, how did you end up here? Well, I was out on patrol with some of the other tribesmen. Dark figures came out and attacked us. One of them appeared to be uh, a woman. We met a woman. Uh, they had brought me next here to two with... of them. <laughs> What's your point? Oh. They, they had brought me here with uh, a dwarf. Gundren. Oh. 
Gundren. Yes, that was his name, Gundren. Ah, ah, great, great, I was great, say, great. We don't know what Gundren. Do you? Do you know <laughs> where they took? Do you know where they took that? That dwarf. Uh, I overheard them talking about a castle. Pragma Castle. But I, I'm afraid that's all I know. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you are you sure you could leave alone or by yourself? I think I'll be all right. They they were too weak to harm me. I'll give her some space to go through the door. We'll begin walking away. She did we? Did we disarm that trap? I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know which way they're going to go out, but hopefully they don't die. <laughs> I kind of assumed when we opened up the door that the trap was disarmed. That was my yeah. assumption. I meant the tunnel coming in here. I didn't know if they were going to try and go, go out the front door or the trap tunnel that we bypassed. Um, Damn, where's she go? That was loud. Yeah. <laughs> well, now the whole place knows we're here. Slamming doors like that. <laughs> she went in the direction of the front door. I don't think we've oh. found where the um, tunnel is. Oh. Although we could maybe try to find that to disable it from this side. Uh, um, Mao, is this a normal day for all of you? No, no, no. Um, I haven't killed this many people in one day. But you have killed this many people? Um... We should think about what we're going to do next. Mentally sore enough for later. <laughs> <laughs> they knew we'll remember that. <laughs> how how y'all looking then? Not, mm, not great. Not, mm, mm, mm. So what are you thinking? Like a five minute breather, then we go on, or? Um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, a five-minute breather would do very little to help me right now. I've already used up all of my um, hit die before we even got down here. Hit dice before we even got down here, so I would only get a key point back on a short rest. And I'm at six hit points. <laughs> I mean, I don't want... Let's just take a nap in the coffin. Uh, <laughs> that do doesn't want, sound do you, fun. Do you want my potion? Open. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I could, because I, I really don't want this glass staff to get away. And I think if we wait too long, he'll just get away. I don't well, want that. Well, oh. we know where they're storing Gundren now, so I don't think it really matters. We'll find him there anyway, right? I don't know. Or you could just, like, completely run away, and then he just gets away. If we want to keep going, I would like to drink the potion. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know that I mean, Fania doesn't have much magic left. I don't know how much Amaris has left. Like, we're not exactly in the best place overall to go up again. I mean, I don't, I don't know who this dude is. This glass staff is plus whoever else is still down here. Well, this is just an average day for me, killing this many people and doing all this stuff. So, uh, I, I'm fine either way. 
Uh, if you if you all need yourselves a rest, let me know. But you know, I'm fine with anything. Um, let Let's just go for a rest. Let's just go for a rest. Did you say go for a run? Yeah, rest. What's the last word? Rest. Rest. <laughs> rest. <laughs> let's out. just let's just do the uh, fifteen mile, <laughs> fifteen minute mile. Let's go do a marathon right now. Uh, Come on, we'll get in the shape. To a Mars. Mars, have you killed as many people in a day? No. <laughs> I'm gonna inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got a 19. 19? I'm being deceptive. I mean, no. <laughs> All right. It's just Shadow that does that. <laughs> now it just kills a lot, but not in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Matt likes to pace himself. <laughs> <laughs> I just run a bakery. Marathon murderer, not a sprinter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'll it be? We going back to town to sleep, Hoffit? Uh, are we going to just take an hour, take a fivey? What, uh, what are y'all needing right now? Personally, I'd, I'd prefer just heading over to bus gundering out of this castle place or whatever, but I mean, do we know where that castle is? I assume I someone remember... does. I don't remember there's seeing a... a castle. If there's so many people that are around here that probably know. Uh... <laughs> there's the orc. In... <laughs> in our time in the town, was there any castle-like structure? That we saw. Real history. The fuck is my history? I don't know. What is it? I there bet it low because Fane is the smartest one here. Mm. <laughs> Hers is low. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> but true. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, but still. Again, rude. average intelligence 11. <laughs> okay. I'm not dumb, but I rolled a 9. <laughs> no, I mean the first thing that comes to mind when you hear castle is what you're in right now. Well, it's... oh, sorry, sorry. No, go ahead. I I don't know where the oh, sorry, I I don't know where the castle is. I mean, yeah, we could probably ask some of the people in town. It may be something that's out into the forest more. Um, oh, we I, also could ask, I could ask the trees if they know. You can talk to trees? You could. You, you can talk to trees? I mean, everybody <laughs> can talk to trees. You just I was going to say, do they talk back to you? <laughs> if you listen. Mm, I haven't tried listening to them. Um, we also sent a pretty strong message to the red brands today um like counting the ones in the bar and the ones here and we broke out their prisoner i don't know how much longer they'll want to hang out in town in general so like we help the townspeople because like we hopefully have uh, told the ruffians that like uh, stop being jerks or they're gonna gang up and come get us and we won't want to stay in town much longer. Well, honestly, if uh, the uh, uh, would uh, I've already lost the names of people. Combat trackers over. I don't have their last name anymore. What is their what's their clan name? <laughs> Redbrand. Not them. Uh, the orcs. Oh, the tribe of many arrows. Oh. If they were willing to trebuchet straight into the tavern wall thinking the mayor took their daughter I think they'd be more than happy to actually go after the thugs who took her in the first place so I'm not too worried about what the red brands want to do especially since we've just been knocking them down sideways every chance we get I don't know they kind of knocked a lot of you down sideways when we were in the tavern 
I, I was I, got, I was in a compromising position. <laughs> I got knocked around pretty hard. I'm also like it's it's okay. I'm I'm fine with getting knocked around. It's just I don't wanna I don't wanna die. Oh, that's the easy part. You just kill him first, and you're done. I mean, I'm pretty. Oh, I thought quick. you just meant dying was the easy part, which it is, depending on how you die. So let's go back up. <laughs> yes, I vote for going back to the bar. We can let. The mayor know that we rescued the orc princess and then we can ask about the castle i would very much like to not be underground anymore yeah okay okay um i'm uh, gonna quickly just check what's behind this door since we're here i'm ready a dart to throw if there's a person behind it <laughs> just gotta see if they've, if they've right any more yeah. <laughs> uh uh going through a car wash here of turret. I uh, just want to see if there's any more compensation they can give us for all this uh, trouble they've been having. Uh, looks like an empty hallway. <laughs> an empty hallway. Um, it's a little Wait, dark, I but see. on the left side you see a door, and on the right side you see another door. Oh, it's also empty. I didn't see the door icon, so I didn't know. <laughs> um, oh, there's a few doors. Uh, I'll go and check out the right one. I don't know where it is on the Should map. I be brave? Should I just open the left one? It is right there. Okay. Let's just check out what's feel... in here. See if they got anything good for us. Let me stay it out. It doesn't feel like going back to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might be um, the exit, so it'll be fine. Let's we know check it out real quick. Where exit is. <laughs> it's we fine. Know, we know where an exit is, but they're probably crawling all over it, don't you think, after we came here? bust some heads and their prisoner ran out the front door. If you're going to open this door, then open it. I did. I am trying to. There's nothing I can do about it. There's no door icon. Yeah, you try to open the door. It is locked. Any of those keys work on the door? If we're going to do this. Do it, was there more than one key? No, there was, was there, just one. No. All right. Uh, I'm going mean... to give, give it a good punch to see if it breaks easy, because we're in an old area. Old place underground, musty and what um, have go you. ahead and roll. I guess roll to attack. Okay. Uh, that is an 18. Okay. Uh, you go to punch this door, uh, and it's made out of solid steel. Oh, that would have been a good description before I decided to punch <laughs> <laughs> I assumed it was wooden. Um, okay. Does it feel locked, or... Does it feel like lock? <laughs> you are not close to that door. <laughs> you don't get to ask any questions. Does it feel locked or does it feel locked? Okay, fine. <laughs> Messaging shadow. <laughs> uh, does it does it feel locked or blocked? I just shout back. What's well, locked? <laughs> Steel. I have firebolts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're just steel doors down here. They're locked. Uh, the one on the left is not a steel door. Okay, that's the one I'll go and punch then. <laughs> I didn't even see if it was unlocked yet. <laughs> I don't need to. I'm punching it. I'm punching it. It'll uh, answer the question if I punch it. <laughs> uh, 16. <laughs> on the head. Roll damage. Roll damage. All right, that is max damage for a 13 bludgeoning. And I knock it back five feet. <laughs> you punch the door and it explodes and the door opens. This one's not locked. <laughs> the door explodes and then it opens. Yeah, it opens he knocks it off of the frame. The frame goes flying with it and then it opens up. Yeah. Oh, there's That's lights in here. Take. Someone. <laughs> That's probably not good, but. <laughs> Well, the smoke has to exit somewhere, you think, so maybe it'll be fine as um, walk in. Shadow, as you walk <laughs> into this room, uh, you see... Actually, how far did you walk here? 
uh, just like a step in. Okay, yeah, I would say you can see from here um, at the south end of where you're looking uh, is a large natural cavern, uh, but it has been finished with stone mm. and um, locked walls and uh, flagstone floor. Uh, currently, you can see there are several barrels stored against the walls, uh, along with empty crates, straw, uh, other packing, some hammers, pry bars, that kind of stuff. And uh, the cavern continues to the south for some distance. Go ahead and roll me a real survival check. Survive uh, this. That's a six. <laughs> six. Yeah, you're not too sure. Um about what is yeah i found the exit i told you so i found some caverns the only place that would head out is out so like i said there's some ta there's some torches here smoke has to get out somehow or else there would be enough oxygen or whatnot to keep this running i think because it'd suffocate itself so i think we're good over here there was a cavern and exit we came through a building but there's another exit or there's another entrance right this might go into the forest, right? Not necessarily. Yeah, but we we don't know how long that cavern will go. Let's just go this way. It could end, or just go deeper. Um... <sighs> hey, Ian. we'll go the long way. You don't know that. <laughs> The long way is whichever way it makes me backtrack. Well, you can keep exploring. I'm not going to go any further. If you want to go down the tunnel, go down the tunnel. No, no, we got to get you all to the bar. I'll just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I collided with the door. <laughs> I love the glissando. You should. <laughs> That's the it. only thing I hear. Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to open the door if you left click on it. All right, it's not locked. Damn. Shadow, as you enter this room, <laughs> you're gonna roll initiative. <sighs> what did I say? <laughs> you're the one punching doors open when we said we were going to leave, making a ruckus. <laughs> What's my initiative? Got a seven uh, on my initiative. <laughs> I got a six. <laughs> Good luck, everybody else. <clears throat> I got a sixteen. Stop zooming to other characters. <laughs> I, I swear I turned that off, and I don't know why it's doing that again. <laughs> I think it's because it's on DM. So. Wait, how do I set my... <laughs> Okay, you can just turn it off again. Unclick it. What did you roll for your initiative? I rolled a 19. Oh, it might be because it's a new server. Yeah. Okay. It was just rechecked on mine. Uh, we're on some battle music here. Do we have... Does Foundry have the combat tracker? Or is that not a thing? It does. It's the two cross swords. Next to the chat. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I just keep getting used to the across the top one when we play Pathfinder. Because there is a way to do that. Wait. Um, what is R now? What is that? I have one level of exhaustion. Because he went down. Right, 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 right. Because um, I got you hear one, the back. one uh Shadow, you hear the one yell. Boy, I knew I heard a sound. Uh, and they'll go come running towards you. And of course, take a few stabs at you. A for a nat one. And a three. All right. Shadow will hit. I just stop his hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Mars. Hey, hearing the commotion. Wait, sorry. That was. Over here. Yeah. 
How? 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 Okay, you want? Uh, that that they'll fit. They'll fit. They will fit. I am gonna cast sleep. Okay. How much dice do I need to roll? Uh, five d eight. Five d eight. Fifty-eight. Yeah. Roll fifty-eight dice. Any dice you choose. Mm. Okay. What'd you get? Uh, tw twenty-one. Okay. Is there any specific one that you are targeting? Like, if I'm... I give you a, a priority. The one in front of Shadow. Okay. Uh, that one falls asleep. The others are still awake. Okay. Do you want me to put on the sleep circle? Um, no, that's okay. No, yeah, I think okay. it's like a, an immediate action, so I don't think it matters. Yeah. Okay. Anything else from Amaris? <clears throat> uh, yeah. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's this is the ladder. The ladder right next. That's the one we came from, right? That's how we get out. Yes. Yes. Oh, so you're going the wrong way. The ladder's right here. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get hit climbing up the ladder. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> There's two others there. Oh, it's fine. I'll knock them out. And it is Shadow's turn. Um. I am going to just so that people have rage to get through. I'm going to This is tough. I am going to Like the gears are just turning in his head really fast as he's like what is the best move I could do here? Uh, what's tactically best to keep uh, Amaris from going down a second time from this? Hopefully to try and get them distracted so the team can just leave. Uh, and I... doesn't matter how much I process, the result always ends up being the same thing. And I just gallop over there uh, and just whoop boom <laughs> right into the face. Um, uh, oh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move bonus action rage and then and then punch uh, uh does a 17 hit Hits. he hasn't gone yet so he's been taking a 2d6 Uh, 19 bludgeoning damage. As I, I like... How do you wipe out this red yeah. brand immediately? I, like, knock it back. Oh, no, I don't knock. I'm not gonna knock it back at the door. <laughs> I just knock him out. Um, all right, get moving! <laughs> yeah, and I'll say this door is actually open. Oh, okay. You can kind of defer. That's where they came from. Is that right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's the end of my turn. All right, this other red, red brand sees you knock his buddy out, and he's gonna run towards you and take some jabs. and a nine both miss I just grab his hands <laughs> watch where you're swinging those alright uh, Mal roll me a perception check see if you see what's going on or hear what's going on rather um with disadvantage that will be a four hear nothing Cool. You can um, still move towards the exit, you know, assuming that you were heading that direction anyway, of course. Yeah, I just take my movement to. Um, oh, 
Yeah, I just take my movement down, and I still don't see anything. <clears throat> Anya, roll me a perception check. 14. Um, you can hear some ruckus going on. Maybe you hear some echoing down the hallway. They've, uh, they found something up ahead. Alright. And I can't see anything. 15, 20. I hope I'm in a hallway. 20, <laughs> uh, you are. 30, 35, 40. I can see a Morris. That's about it. <laughs> <clears throat> With I mean, you can see Amaris taking cover. Amaris, what's happening? Um, there's more red brands. And it is Amaris' turn. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I panicked for a little bit. <laughs> I saw the red brand. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Forgot what happened to him. Okay, uh, Firebolt, the one next to Shadow. That is going to be a 17. That'll hit. That'll hit. Or five. Airbolt, this red brand, uh, hitting him in the shoulder. Dealing a, a decent amount of damage. And, and bop. <laughs> okay. Uh, having stopped him from hitting, then the fire poof, right into him. I then try to go for like a hook right into the burnt spot to like hit him where it hurts. Uh, and I miss. I got a nat one. Two nat ones in this kind of stay. Miss. Uh, this red brand will begin stabbing back at you. For a 7 and a 9. Rolling great. Now, your turn. Have any of these hit you, Amaris? You're muted, Kyle. I know. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, I was supposed to say your name. Shadow, <laughs> Shadow might, Shadow needs help. <laughs> Shadow made his choice. Um, I'm going to hold an action for anyone that attacks Amaris. I will attack them first. Mal walks into the room very calmly and watches Shadow. Yeah. I do like the idea of Amaris saying Shadow needs help, but if you enter the room, it's just two unconscious dudes and a guy being, like, blocked by me. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to help. I'll uh, walk up behind Amaris. So are we not fighting them? Um. I was about to say. Uh, Amaris will turn to you and, like. She'll look confused and she'll. Telepathically say. Guy, do you, do you know what's going on between those two? Um, which two? Uh, Mal and Shadow. Sorry, my Discord completely just freaked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just frozen. Wow, Baka's really still. <laughs> okay. Kyle, oh, entered, your, dang. Kyle really entered, entered your mind mode. and it glitched. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> um, do you do you know what's going on between Shadow and Mal? Oh, 
Um, aren't you all friends? <laughs> yes, with <laughs> now, but uh, I've yet to grow closer with Shadow. Just looking confused, that will be her turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brand snoring on the ground. Amaris, it's your turn. Uh, 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 uh. Fireball. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> oh, no. oh, fireball. Fireball. Everybody fireball. Made, made <laughs> Dang, my <laughs> fireball was that good. <laughs> At a critical hit, you kill the DM. <laughs> <laughs> he took that damage directly to his life, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you did you roll an at twenty? Yes, I did. Awesome. Go ahead and roll damage. We didn't already. I guess I wouldn't know. I that. have it. What are we doing for that? Is it double dice? Double dice. Rolling more is fun, right? Mm -hmm. Until you roll two ones. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. All right. Uh, so you blast this red brand in the chest, uh, and he's almost staggering backwards into this pool behind him. Oh, we are fighting. <laughs> Um, and if nothing else, Shadow. Uh, I see the second fireball go, and I like look over at everyone just standing there, and I'm like, "What are you guys doing? I thought you were gonna get out of here. I thought you were gonna run. Like, we put him to sleep. We're knocking him out. What are you doing?" As I'm like, not even addressing this guy, I'm just like questioning what's going on. Why no one's like just going up the stairs? And like, I'm like punching him off from like from my peripherals. You can't uh, see that me. one is an eighteen to hit. That'll hit. Uh, and that is 14 bludgeoning damage. Hey, how do you end this red brain? Yeah, like I said, I'm not even paying attention, so I'm like just bashing into him, and then like I look over, I realize he's like kind of gone limp in my arms. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. See, it's all done. Don't wake up that one. He's still napping. All right. Uh, Mal, roll me a perception check. Say nine. I'm in the room. Do I get to? Anything else Mal would like to do? <laughs> Are you going to need help up the ladder again, Fania? Um, if you're okay with carrying me. Yes, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> why did I even do his little spider again? <laughs> Collateral up on his shoulder. Um, I'm essentially holding my movement until Amaris goes up the ladder. Um, if that, and also, I mean, I don't know if, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm waiting until Fain, uh, Amaris goes up the ladder before I do anything else. Yeah, Fane just turned his wild shaping and then crawling up onto uh, Mal. Okay. Uh, Redbrand is asleep. Amaris, throw me a perception check. Are you making us roll? For uh, I got a 15. Okay, with a 15. Um, as you blasted that last red brand in the chest, you thought for a second you could see something sparkle in the pool down there. And in addition, um, this wall over here Seems to look a bit strange. Do I see something? Um, <clears throat> I think there's something shiny in that that pool, and that wall looks odd, right? I didn't know Omaris... anything about the wall. Omaris turns back, feels attention. <laughs> um, Mal, do you do you have something to restrain that sleeping red band? Because I'm just gonna. How deep is this? 
cool. Um, from looking at it. Uh, it's about oh, actually. Uh, well, actually, so please keep going. I'm stupid. It's about <laughs> ten, 10 feet. 10 feet. Um. I am going to cast Mage Hand. Can I scoop it up? Yeah, so you scoop it up um, and you find a, a satchel. Uh, and in front of that satchel, what caught your eye was the, um, the latch at uh, water. Um... We're still in the initiative, so I'm just going to stow that thing away, and that is my turn. Yeah, the only reason I'm keeping us in initiative is because of the sleeping librarian. Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be staying down here waiting just in case the guy wakes up or something. So I'm, just, I'm, I'm holding off until Mal either, until either Mal restrains the guy or people actually, like, are ready to go up. Um, seeing that it seems like we're going to be down here for a while, um. Oh, and I will say, Shadow, uh, you can see, again, this yeah. room over here, which you can kind of assume they came from. Yeah, I mean, I assume it's like a watch thing, but I'm not entirely. Um, I stabbed the sleeping red brand in the chest. That is going to be a dirty 20 to hit. I'm assuming that hits. Okay. Um, that is going to be an automatical critical because he is unconscious. So that is going to be 3d8 to him. Six, 10, 13. Um, that is 15 piercing damage. Is he still alive? He's still alive. Great. Um, I'm then going to um, use my key point to do two unarmed strikes on him. That is a 21 and a 22. That's it. Um, that is another 15 bludgeoning damage to him. Okay. That ends this red brand. Um, flavor it. Um, Mal is silent as he does that. He truly like stabs into the chest, reaches down, sees he's still breathing, snaps his neck, looks up at Amaris and says, I thought we were leaving, but I guess we're going to spend more time down here. Go ahead. I... We have time now. Sorry, I just want to see the satchel um obviously you did i thought we were leaving now we have time to explore more down here i sorry i just didn't want the red brand to suddenly wake up and now he won't. We can. We can leave now. Are you sure? I thought we were going to be leaving before. Are we all actually going to be leaving now? Yes. I'm in Amaris. You don't have to do anything, but just a reminder. That ball down there looks a little strange. Yes. Uh, yeah, no. See, I'm trying to start stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mal motions up to the uh, ladder. Mars will go up. Mal will they follow behind to Mars. <laughs> Unknowing in her little spider form. <laughs> 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 Raising her arms. Beam me up. Um, and as our party goes up this ladder, um, 
zoom out and we see a few things from a, a bird's eye point of view. Not the party, but as what? viewers we see things. We don't have drone vision. Um, we see the party of orcs standing outside of Phandalin being reunited. Zooming out further, uh, you see, um, sorry, not further, um, panning over, you see a body laying behind one of the buildings in Phandalin. Then as we zoom out, um, we see a glimpse of a dragon's eye. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. So thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, again, please check out my players at their various socials, which will be down in the description below. And we will see you next time.